Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for July the 20th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Sanofi entered a deal with Ablinx, initially focused on developing and commercialising drugs for the treatment of various immune-mediated inflammatory diseases. Under the agreement, Ablinx will receive an upfront payment of €23 million Euros and is eligible for milestone payments worth up to €2.4 billion. Euros. Also in the news... Roche decided to end its involvement in developing a Ryzen Genomics experimental oral LSD-1 inhibitor ORY-1001 for certain tumour types. Horizon CEO Carlos Buisa said, We have been informed that the decision was not data-driven, but a consequence of internal reprioritization of Roche's pipeline. In other news, AstraZeneca said that partner Leo Pharma gained full marketing approval in the EU for Kynthium for the treatment of moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. The drug, which selectively targets the IL-17 receptor subunit A, is currently authorised in the US and in Japan. And finally, sources suggested that Cardinal Health plans to divest its Chinese business in a deal that could be worth as much as $1.5 billion. The move comes as China implements a new drug distribution system which is expected to squeeze margins for most distributors in the country. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 